let's share our document with one of our friends. There are two ways that you can do this quite easily. You can, from the My Drive menu, select the document. Notice up here you have additional options that have popped up. This is your Share button. If you select Share, you'll see that it gives you a link it all, that you can copy and paste into any email or any message that you like. It also gives you a few convenient keys here or icons that let you share with Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, or through your Gmail account. You can also invite people specifically by inserting their email addresses here under the Invite People section. It's important for you to pay close attention to some of your options. You can allow people to edit a document, comment on a document, and view a document. Edit lets you do all three. Comment lets you view it and then of course comment and view simply means just that. You just you're able to look at it. When you get ready to send if it send it via email it also gives you an option to send a copy to yourself or you can paste it um, in addition to sending it as um, an attachment into the email that gets sent out. Once you're done you'll select uh, share and save. Another option that you have here is that you can allow people throughout the world to see the document if you wish. And you can do so by placing it publicly on the web so that people can see it even if they don't have a Gmail account. You may also do it through the anyone with a link option. Again, there's no sign in required. The difference between the public version and the anyone with a link is that it's easier to search and find based on keywords that are in your document if you use the public on the web. Private, of course, allows you to be very specific uh, with who can see it, and it also requires that the person be signed into their Gmail account.